Hey, this is Saf Levali from LinkedInRef.com and in this video it's time for another viewer request and in this video, in this lesson, you asked for In the Hall of the Mountain King by Grieg from the opera Per Gint. Um, this is a terrific tune and it's really catchy and I bet you know this and I bet you don't know where you know this from but apparently everybody knows this. This has been in countless movies and video games and stuff. And um, first, let me play it for you, let me demonstrate how it goes, because, well, I've arranged this especially for you. And um, after I play this, we're gonna jump right into the lesson, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how it goes, I'm gonna break it down, lick by lick, and show you what to play, when to play it, and exactly how it all um, ties together. So, um, without further ado, it goes like this. Okay, so now that we've played it, let's break it down and learn this. You begin with A minor, and the main melody line is this. Okay, so um, let's start with A minor. Now we'll play the melody first and then we'll add the bass lines. As you will see, um, the bass line is pretty simple. It's just, um, it's just, it's actually pretty much Travis picking. It's uh, alternating bass notes. It's the first and second bass of the chord. Okay, so the melody is um, two on the G string. Then uh, zero one three on the B string, and then E string one on the B string, E string again. Okay, it's inside. It's all inside A minor. Okay, so two zero one three E D E. Okay, and one on the B the right there at the end. Um, the bass uh, goes like this. Bass, 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 bass. Okay, it's one with the bass, one without the bass. The, it's, it's a note along with the bass, and then a note without the bass. Bass, no bass, bass, no bass, bass, no bass, bass. Okay, it's pretty simple. Just listen to the beat. It's pretty much straightforward right there on the beat. And then um, the bass notes continue to be A and E, um, two on D, so you need to put your first finger on two on D, on the D string, uh, creating an E note. And then you take your pinky and third finger and put them on uh, four and four on the B and G strings, creating a sort of a power chord uh, shape. Okay. Okay. So it's um, and then you play B string, G string, B string. Okay. 
bass, no bass, bass. Okay, and the bass notes are A and the D string on two, which is E. So it's A and E. And then you take these two back one fret to three, from four to three, and you play the same thing. Okay? Now, when played slowly, it sounds weird. It sounds dissonant. But since it's all inside, it's all built upon an A minor chord, when you play it straight through, it makes sense. You see, the ear still recognizes the A minor chord as your chord. So these notes are actually separate from these notes in your ear. So uh, don't be intimidated if this sounds weird because when you play it together it all ties up uh, and the ear can separate the notes and the chord. So again, okay, and then it's this again. And then you play with your pinky 5 on the E string and then you play C with a high G note with your pinky on 3 on the E string. And you play, okay, which is 3, 0 on the E string, B string on 1 inside the C chord and then 0, 3 on the E string. Got it? And the bass uh, line is pretty much the same thing. Bass, no bass, um, note, uh, note with bass, note without bass, note with bass, note without bass. And then at the end you've got uh, a bass note by itself. So, this is the line. So together with the A minor, got it? Let's follow the basses. Bass, 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 bass. Got it? Um, and then you play this again. Then you play the A minor again, and then you play this. Okay, I made a mistake. Played six instead of five. Um, it's five again, and then back to A minor, um, E string and B string, and then E string again, five again on the E string. And then back to A minor, G string. Pretty confusing, I know. Again, five, A minor, B, E, five again, two on the G string. I hope it's clear. If not, take a look at the tab or rewind the video. So, um, bass notes. Bass, bass, bass. Got it? I hope you got it. This is uh, the first part. So, C. Second part, um, this time it goes to E, and it's pretty much the same thing um, melodically down at the E chord. So um, it's this. Okay, and your uh, bass notes this time are the E and A strings. So on uh, the D string, you play 
uh, two, four. Then on the G string you play um, one and two. Okay, so it's two, four, one, two, and then it's um, B string, G string, B string. Okay, so together it goes like this. Okay, with the bass notes. Bass, 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 bass. Got it? And then you bar the first fret and you play um, B, G, B strings on one. And this time, the bass line changes a little. You play E string and then four on the E string. Okay? Got it? And four on the um, E string is G sharp, which is the third uh, of the E major chord. This is G sharp, so um, it's still an E chord. Got it? So let's finish this and then I'll repeat it. And then E again, B, G, B strings. Okay? And then it's the same thing, only this time, the second time you play it, you just play the B string. That's it. Okay? First time around, it's the, the first ending is. The second ending is just, okay? I think the E string is out of tune. Okay. Got it? Um, so again, two, four, one, two, um, B, G, B, one and one on B, G, B with zero and four on the bass, then E again, B, G, B. Then again. And then only the B string. With a separate bass note. Okay, and then, um, now you're supposed to play, um, you're supposed to play these parts um, many, many times. You're supposed to play them and um, go up in speed, but um, this is a lesson, so we're not going to play all of it. Uh, I, I haven't played it in the demonstration as well, but listen to the original and you'll hear that it repeats itself a lot until it gets to the high part. So you just repeat it, you can repeat it, you can play this twice if you want. Um, I like to just play the A minor. C ending. Okay, and then I go to the high E. Now, um, the fingering here is using your second, third uh, fingers and the pinky to uh, put an A chord at nine, the ninth fret, which is of course an E chord, and your bass notes are E. The E string and the G and the D string. Okay. Um, and you play this. Okay. This is the first um, the first variation of this. Now um, you play G string. Then using your first finger you play. 7, then the pinky, 9, 10, okay, 7, 9, 10, okay, G string on 9, then on the B string, 7, 9, 10, and then you take your pinky back to 9 and you play, you put, you place your first finger on 7 on the E string and you play E, B, E, and then you take these two notes up one fret, the 7 to 8 and the 9 to 10, okay? It's this movement, okay? It's 7 and 9 to 
to 8 and 10. And you play 8, 10, 8, and take them back to 7 and 9. Okay? Got it? That's the whole thing. And you keep the bass notes going, so... Got it? Um, it's pretty simple. So it's bass, 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 bass. Okay, and the second time around it's the same, only this time you just end on... 7 instead of 7 on 797. So with a separate bass line, a bass note. And then you play this again, only this time there's a variation. It turns from um uh from A minor into an A major uh scale for a second. You'll see. It goes like this. Okay, up to here, it's the same thing you just played. And then, instead of 8 and 10, you take your pinky and third finger fingers down one string, and you play 9 and 9 on the uh, E and B strings. Remember to keep your second finger right where it is, so you'll have a second bass note. Okay? Okay, and then you bring back the E chord. Okay, seven and nine. So it's got it. You take these two down one string, and you take. Uh, you, you can leave. You can actually leave the first finger on. You don't have to take it off. with uh, the B note uh, alone and then the bass note alone which is also by the way a B note uh, it's both are B um, so um, these two lines again This time it's an octave up. So okay. This time you only use the A bass, so it gives it an ominous feel because it's just bass, 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 bass. Okay. So um, it's on on the B on the B string. You play 10, 12, 13. Okay. Bass. And then 10 on the E string, and then 12 and 13 on E and B, okay? And then you take this one fret back to 11 and 12, and then again one fret back to 10 and uh, 11, okay? This is nice. So. again up to here up to 12 and 13 and then 17 then to, uh, 12 and 13 again 17 again 14 on the G string got it 12 and 13 17 twice 14 on the G string so and then it's um, F sharp diminished um, with over A it's F sharp diminished over A um, 
first on the high octave, which is from um, high note to low note, it's 17, 16, 17, 16. Okay? So it's A, and then you pick the chord, and then you take this back uh, one octave to 5, 4, 5, 4. Got it? And then, final line, F, and you pick the F bass and the G string, and if you want to harmonize, pick the D string as well. Open B string, so don't bar. Um, and then bar. Um, one on the B string. Okay, and you can pick a second bass, uh, uh, the, the second, the, the second bass note, the, the fifth string. Okay, or the D string. And then three on the B string. And then A minor over E. You mean, um, I mean, I mean you play uh, A minor with the E bass. Okay, and you play E string, B string, E string, and you play the E bass and the D string. This is also an E note. Got it? So, and then 5 on the E string, and then D, a D chord on 4. Okay, you take it up two frets to four, making it an E chord. This is E. When you take D up two frets, it's E. And then you do... Okay, and you can harmonize with the, the G string if you want. You play E, B, E with E as your bass. Okay. Um, actually, the, the G string can be your second bass note here. Okay, it's nice. And then seven, and then you bar five, making it an A minor. And then you can just either pick or or whichever uh, picking pattern you want to use uh, that sounds good to you. So again, F. A minor over E, 5, E, 7, bar 5, A bass, it's A minor, and then again, from F sharp diminished over A, at 17, and then at 5, and then again, F, A minor over E, 5, E, 7, A minor, and you're done. Uh, that's in the hall of the Mountain King. Now, before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and uh, go to the website, download the tab, and if you want to give something back for the lesson, there's a donation button on the website. You can click it and donate whatever you choose to donate. I'll be very, very grateful to you if you do, and I thank you in advance for your donations. Now, um, go get this under your fingers, work on it. It's, it's a really, really great piece. It's really fun to play on the guitar, and I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please share this lesson on Facebook, on YouTube, on your website, whatever. Um, uh, so other people can watch it and learn this piece. Um, I'll see you the next lesson. Thank you very, very much for watching.